Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Muhammad Nurdin Amiruslan. For today, I will present about uh, assignment, a video, individual video assignment for EMM 3305 for fluid mechanics. And my lecturer is Dr. Nordin Ben Sabli. Okay. So in this part, uh, I will present about fluid properties that including introduction to fluid properties, Newtonian and non-Newtonian Newtonian fluids, surface stretch and elastic modulus, and also compressibility and vapor pressure. For the other parts, is dimensional analysis and modeling. So it consists of dimensions and dimensional homogeneity, dimensional analysis and similarity, the method of repeating variables, and the buggy and the Buckingham Pi theorem, and also the dimensionless dimensionless terms. Okay, let's mo let's mo move on first on the fluid properties. Okay, the introduction to fluid properties. It is a study about a branch of science, which deals with behaviors of fluids, either liquid or gases. So, uh. The fluid properties is consists of fluid statics. There is study about the fluid at rest, and there is mean by uh, no movement. Uh, the second is about fluid kinematics. It is study about the fluid emotion by neglecting the pressure forces, and the final is the about the fluid dynamics. There is study about the fluid in motion, considering the pressure forces. There are various properties of fluids which are used to define a fluid and its behavior in the various fluid applications. There are five types that various properties of fluids there is about density, specific weight, specific gravity, viscosity, and also specific volume. Okay, let's move on first on the density. So the definition of density is the amount of mass per unit volume of a substance. So regarding to the formula is, is the rho and it, it is equal to m over mass over volume. And the unit is uh, kilo, kilogram over meter meter cube. The next part is about the specific weight. So the definition of the specific weight is about amount of weight per unit volume of a substance. So regarding to the formula is specific weight, specific weight equals to weight over volume and the unit is Newton over meter cube. The third one is about the specific gravity. Specific gravity is means ratio of density or, spe or specific weight of a substance to the density or uh, we dividing by the, the density or specific weight of water at 4 degrees Celsius. So regarding to the formula, specific gravity equals to specific weight or the density over the specific weight or the density uh, of water at 4 degrees Celsius. <coughs> so for the, uh, we have a constant of water at the specific weight or density. For the specific weight, it is a... Uh, the value of specific weight of water at 4 degrees Celsius is 9.81 kN over meter cube and for the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is 1000 kg over meter cube. So we move on to the next part is about viscosity. Viscosity is a measure of weights resistant to flow. There are two kinds of fluid viscosity that is kinematic and also dynamic so for dynamic viscosity is the relationship between the shear stress and the shear rate in fluid so due to the formula dynamic viscosity equals to shear stress times width distance between the product of the ratio distance between the years over the shear velocity so to, for the kinematic viscosity is the relationship 
between viscous and initial forces in a fluid. So V equals to kinematic equals to kinematic viscosity equals to the dynamic viscosity over the density. The last part is about the specific volume. So specific vol so specific volume is volume per unit mass. So the formula is uh, V equals to volume over mass or it is equal to uh, 1 over the density and the unit is meter cube over kilogram so next I will explain to you about the Newtonian, Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluid so for the Newtonian fluid uh, it is one with constant viscosity with zero shear rate and z at zero shear stress that is, the shear stress is directly proportional to the shear stress. For example, our water, gasoline, oil, alcohol, benzene, and kerosene. For the non-Newtonian, it is a fluid that does not follow the Newton's law of viscosity. Constant viscosity it is independent of stress. In non-Newtonian fluids, viscosity can change when under force to either more liquid or more solid. There are two major classifications of non-Newtonian fluids are time-dependent and time-dependent fluids. Sorry. There are two major classifications of non-Newtonian fluids. They are time-independent and time-dependent fluids. So for the time-independent, there are three types of time independent can be defined time independent that can be defined the first is a uh, pseudoplastic so the plot of the shear stress versus velocity gradient less about the street constant slope line for newtonian fluid as shown in figure 2.3 the curve begins steeply indicating a high apparent velocity then the slope decreases with increasing velocity gradient. Examples of such fluids are blood plasma, syrup, latexes, and inks. The next time independent type is about dilatant fluids. In figure 3.2, the plot of shear stress versus velocity gradient of all dilatant fluids lies below the straight line for Newtonian fluids. The curve begins with a low slope, indicating a low apparent viscosity. Then the slope increases with increasing velocity gradient. Examples are of, of dilatant fluids are slurries with high concentration of solids, such as cornstarch in ethylene glycol, starch in water, and titanium dioxide, an ingredient in pig. So the last part is about the Bingham fluid. It is also called plug flow fluids. Bingham fluids require the development of a significant level of shear stress below flow will begin as illustrated in figure 2.3. Once the flow starts, there is an essentially linear slope to the curve indicating a constant apparent viscosity. Examples are sh chocolate, mustard, mayonnaise, toothpaste, tooth toothpaste, and others. So these are the graph part. So the next type is about the time dependent fluids. So for time depend for so for the time dependent fluids, it is difficult to analyze because apparent viscosity varies with time as well as with velocity gradient and temperature. Examples are some crude oils at low temperatures and also printer's ink. In figure 2.4, shows two types of time-dependent fluids where in each case the temperature held, the temperature held constant. The left part of the curve shows stable viscosity when the shear rate is not changing. Then when the shear rate is changing, the graph at the can be decreasing or increasing. 
So for the tisotropy fluids, it is a fluid that exhibits tisotropy whereby the apparent viscosity decreases with the time as shear rate remains constant. This is the common type of time-dependent fluid. For the rheopactic fluids, for the rheopactic fluids, it is a fluid that exhibits rheopexy whereby the viscosity increases with time. Rheopactic fluids are quite rare. Next, I will talk about you about the surface stretch. Surface stretch can also be defined as tensile stress. Tensile stress is defined as the force per unit area induced the body in response to external applied force, which tends to elong which tends to elongate or stretch the body. For example, it's a spring and also rubber band. So regarding to the formula, it's uh, tensile stress over force over area. So for the next is part, next part is about the elastic modulus. Elastic modulus is the ratio of the force exerted upon a substance or body to the resultant deformation. It is also known as uh, young modul Young's modulus. So the unit is uh, Newton over meter squared. The next part is about compressibility of weights. Compressibility, also known as the coefficient of compressibility or isothermal compressibility, is a measure of the relative volume change of a fluid or solid as a response to a pressure or mean stress change. So the unit is uh, 1 over Pascal. So for the vapor pressure, is the measure of tendency of a material to change into the gases or vapor state and it increases with temperature so regarding to the formula is the vapor pressure of solution is equals to product of mole fraction of solutions times with vapor pressure of pure solvent so uh, we are done by the fluid properties next we will go into dimensional analysis and modeling so for the first part of the dimensional analysis and modeling is about the dimension so dimension is a measurable extent of a particular particular kind such as length breadth depth or height next part is about dimensional homogeneity Dimensional homogeneity means that the dimension in each equation on both sides are equal. For example, uh, I, have, uh, I, have, I, have, I have made some questions to explain this part. In this part, uh, you will see that the equation is u equals to u0 plus g3. So, uh, in this question already given, uh, the unit or the dimension for the u and u naught there is uh, l over t and you also know the dimension of t is t because time so the question asks what is the unit or dimension for the g so since homogeneity means uh, equal so uh, Regarding to GT is a one equi one uh one equi one combination equation, so from that we get L over T squared because uh the other T we can cancel regarding to the uh T from time, so therefore in order to have the same uh equation with the left hand side, we need we get G is equals to L over T squared. So next is about dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is re dimensional analysis is refers to the physical nature of the quantity there is dimension, and the type of unit is used to specify it. For example, 
the area has a dimensional s squared since area is the length than width breadth. Okay. So next about the dimensional similarities. Dimensional similarity. So the principle of the similarity underlies the entire subject of dimensional analysis. There are three necessary conditions for complete similarity between a model and prototype. There is geometric, kinematic, and dynamic. So for the geometric similarity, the model must the model must be the same shape as the prototype, but the scale but maybe the scale by some constant scale factor. So the equation is uh for example length prototype over the length uh, of the model. Sorry. The the length ratio is equals to length prototype over the length model. Same goes to the area and also volume for the geometric similarity formula. But actually it's for the all the three types actually uh it was the same. The prototype must divide with the model. Okay, next is about kinematic similarity. The velocity at any point in the model flow must be proportional by a constant scale factor to the velocity at the corresponding point in the prototype flow. So this is the formula as I said, it's it is just the same. The ratio is prototype of the model model. So the last part in this type is dynamic similarity. Dynamic similarity is when all the forces in the model scale by a constant factor to corresponding forces in the prototype flow for scale equivalence. And the equation was the and formula was the same. So the next part is about the method of repeating variables. So it uh, have x step to be to be followed. So the step one is we need to list all the variables that are involved in the problems. Next step is express each of the variables in terms of basic dimensions. The third step is to determine the required number of pi terms. Next is select a number of repeating variables where the number required is equal to the number of reference dimension, usually the same as the number of basic dimensions. The fifth step is form the pi term by multiplying one of the non-repeating variables by the product of repeating variables, each raised to an exponent that will make the combination dimensionless. The sixth step is repeat step 5 for each of the remaining non-repeating variables. Next is check all the resulting pi terms to make sure they are dimensionless. The last part or the last step is express the final form as a relationship among the pi terms and think about what it means. So next we will be going to the uh, Buckingham Pi Theorem. So Buckingham Pi Theorem uh, also related with uh, the dimensional analysis. So the dimensional analysis is used to the is used to determine the equation is right or wrong. The calculation it depends on the unit or dimensional condition for the equation. For example, you can uh, see the example. Sorry. Okay. If an equation involving k variables is dimensionally homogeneous, it can be reduced to a relationship among k dash r independent dimensionless product where r is the minimum number of reference dimensions required to describe the variables for example the function of g can be written as g pi 1 until pi k dash r also pi 1 equals to g uh, bracket pi 2 until pi k dash r the dimensionless products are frequently referred to the as pi terms and the theorem is called the Buckingham pi theorem. Buckingham used to use the symbol pi to represent a dimensionless product and this notation is commonly used. So the last part is about the dimensionless term. 
In dimensional analysis, a dimensionless quantity is a quantity to which no physical dimension is assigned. So these are the tables of some common established non-dimensional parameters that you can uh, refer to. Actually, there there are about more more than I have uh, insert in this part, but you can refer this. So I think. Uh, that's all for the for this assignment uh, uh, thank you uh, I'm sorry if uh, what am I presenting is lacking of what you are searching for so uh, that's all thank you for listening Assalamualaikum